my name is Bruce and I am back with another banger. Main point for this video is I'm going to be explaining how I gained a lot of muscle throughout the time I've been lifting. So guys, make sure to pay attention to what I'm going to say. And if you guys like the video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment for what videos you guys want to see in the future. Turn on that bell to get notified when I post new videos in the future as well. And don't forget, Jesus loves you so much. But with that being said, let's get on with the video. First off the bat, I'm gonna say I did not track my calories. Like my dad said, all I had to do was eat and keep eating. I coupled that with consistency and going to the gym a lot. So that's how I maximized my results. I started working out when I was a little kid, but I took it more seriously last year of January. Most people ask me how I deal with not caring what other people say about me when that's going to the gym or whatever. Um, my answer to this is just don't care. If you care about what people think of you, then you already lost. If you work out to get the approval from other people at the gym, then you will always get affected by what other people say. But if you work out to better yourself and your health and to influence other people, then you will slowly go away from that mindset of caring about what other people think of you. You will slowly build the mindset of not caring about other people's thoughts about you. Unless it's positive, then that's good. Now, honestly, I did not think I would be where I am today, but I found out that that's how working out works. When you work out very strictly and you put into consistency and discipline, you get good results. I want you guys to know that this is all about consistency. The more you put in the work, the better and the more you get in your outcome. My question to you is, how bad do you really want it? If you know your answer, then start getting to work. You can't magically look like a bodybuilder overnight expecting that, oh, just because I worked out one day, I'm gonna see results soon. I mean, sure, if you can make, could see some type of results if you take pictures, but you won't see it that fast. You have to stay consistent with what you do. You have to put in the effort when you're doing something. For example, let's use the game GTA. You know in GTA, when you wanna level up your character, you wanna be stronger and more successful. Just like that, level up, keep bettering yourself. Do not care what other people say about you. And don't forget, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God. So whatever you do throughout the day, remember that God is with you and he'll give you the strength to go on with your day. Make sure to glorify God in everything you do. And remember that God is always with you. So he'll see everything you do, even when you don't think that he's with you. On your lowest moments, God will always be with you. You guys need to remember that. Sometimes I may forget myself, but the Lord reminds me. And I'm very appreciative for that. The Lord can save you. How do I know? Because he saved me too. Anyways, I don't like when people say when they want to go to the gym, but they say, oh, but I don't have any motivation. Bro, motivation does not get you where you want to be. I mean, sure, it could start you off in your journey, but discipline is a real way to get what you're aiming for. You have to be able to work when you're tired, you feel lazy, and you're still able to put up with your work because you don't care how you feel, you still put in the effort to do it because that's how bad you want it. Right now, I'm trying my best to put in more videos and putting the effort in instead of being lazy and posting a bunch of reaction videos that I don't even know what I'm talking about. I got a lot of hate in my other video, but that's something else that we need to talk about. But um, yeah, I'm trying to make my videos more high quality and entertaining for you guys to watch. That's why I ask you guys to give me some suggestions in the comments below. So stop what you're doing right now, click the comment and give me any suggestions of what I should post. Matter of fact, turn on that bell and I can't say this enough smash that subscribe button also let me know what you guys think of this video if anyone needs help with gym advice or help in general and make sure to follow my tiktok as well you can find both of these links to my profiles and the link and the you can find the link to both these profiles and the link in the description below so make sure to follow both of those platforms including this so make sure to follow both of those platforms including the one you're watching right now i low-key feel like filming pranks on my brother and stuff like that you know things that would make you guys laugh but i don't really know how i would do it so that's why i ask you guys i still want to stick to my original gym content too though so i don't know what to do yet and also i kind of do want to do some boot and, I, and also, I kind of do want to do some food videos or food challenges, you know, like that one chip challenge or something. It's going to probably make me feel sick, but, you know, videos like that would make you guys feel entertained. Like I said in my other video, I might film some gym challenges, like push-up competitions or arm wrestling competitions, stuff like that, betting for money, I don't know. 
just i'm gonna do that type of stuff maybe might i might when i go back to school but we'll see how it goes i feel like we're a little bit off topic but another tip i can give you guys is form over weight you don't know what this means this means to master technique and form before increasing weight in any exercise that you do I let my ego overcome me when the first time I started hitting chest before, like the first time I hit bench press, I tried to lift 135 and I hurt my chest really bad. So don't rush into lifting weights that you know you cannot lift, especially if you know you're gonna get hurt from it. But if you're lifting weight and you feel like you can get the PR that you're looking for, I guess that's okay. But that is just in my opinion. If you do not have any physical weights or machines, that is why we have calisthenics. Calisthenics is working out using mostly your body weight as an exercise, rather than using your modern day machines that you see at the gym today. But some people can't afford it, that's why they do calisthenics in their room and stuff, like push-ups, squats, pull-ups, handstands, etc. If you guys want me to get more in depth with calisthenics and stuff, let me know in the comments below. I don't know how far we are in this video, but I really want to say, I really hope, I hope some people that needed this who are watching this video. If you like this video and you feel like it helped you, make sure to share it to other people so they can get the help they need too. If you think people need my help, send it to them. Send it to your brother, your mother, your dad, your father, your grandma, I don't care. Send it to anybody that needs help. If you believe that my videos can help people and entertain people, make sure to share it. I also want to get into clothing hauls and stuff like that, fits and everything. I'd like to get into the clothing niche as well. With that being said, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, If you did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, drop a comment for what videos you guys want to see in the future. Once again, turn on that bell to get notified when I post new videos in the future. Sooner in the future, I'm probably going to come up with better ideas for my videos, which you guys will love to see that. But yeah, I'm going to be trying a bunch of new things. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes. That's going to top off the rest of this banger. But once again, if you guys liked it, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment for what videos you guys want to see in the future. Let's try to get my channel to about 500 subscribers. Right now, we're pretty much halfway there. We're close to 50. If you guys really like the videos that I've been putting out for you, give me some suggestions for what videos I should post in the future. Let me know if I should change things up or try something new. But with that being said, my name is Drew and I am out.